Hello friends, welcome back to SQL with Manoj. Today we'll talk about how we can concatenate two strings or two columns in a table or a mix of columns or strings in a table. Okay, so first of all, let's see how we can concatenate strings. I will go with a simple example of hello world. So select, so everything in SQL, you know, to retrieve or to display goes with select statement, right? So select then hello plus word, right? So as you can see here, one string is hello and another string is word. So you are concatenating or you are joining both of these strings by using the plus operator. Okay. And you will get this result. Hello word. But this is not separated. There is no white space between them. What you can do is you can apply a white space here. Right. So you will get the result. Right. Now these are the constant values. Let's say if in case it is a, a variable, how you can do that. Right. So declare at the rate str1 where care 10 is equal to hello and declare at the rate str2 as where care 10 equal to word okay so simple just use the strings instead of the values Right. So instead of hello world used at the rate str1 and str2. Right. So it's very simple. It will give you the same result. Again, you know, there is no space between hello world. So how you can give a space by providing a white space like this, like this, right? Okay. Sorry. Like this, right? So, so you have here two strings and one white space constant value here, right? So this is how you concatenate two strings. Let me show you how you can concatenate two or more columns in a particular table, right? So in AdventureWorks 2014 database, what I'll do is I'll take this person table. Okay, let me drag and drop this table here. So this will save me from, you know, writing this table name. Select a star from person table. Okay, let's take only top 10 records from this person table. Okay, so it will show you these particular columns. So let's say, you know, first name, middle name, last name. You have to concatenate these columns into a full name how you can do that i'll just copy this query okay and instead of a star what i'll do is i'll use the first name right so here similar way you can similar way you have to concatenate you have to use the plus operator middle name and last name right and if i execute this you will see, you know, names are concatenated, but you will see some null values here, right? So let's see uh, why we are getting these null values. I'll add all the columns after this. So it will give me a list of all those columns, right? So this is the column that we created by concatenating all these columns. And these are the actual column list of the particular table, right? So as you can see here, wherever it was null, it has given me the name as null, right? Why? So in SQL, if you have if you add any value with the null it becomes null and that and that null value adds with some other value the whole result will become null so you are getting null so you have to treat null here right how you can do that you have to do that by using is null function and if it is null then you have to convert it to a empty string right so similar thing you have to do here also is null then empty string and the same thing here is null then empty string right so this way you have to do this now you can see here right wherever there was null now the names are coming correct so here also the names are coming okay now again the problem is like the same way you know hello word here right we were not able to see the gaps between right so now how you can see the gap similar thing you have to do you have to add a white space character in between the names right so this way you will be able to read the names properly okay here you go so you can see here first name middle name last name coming over here and you can easily read the names with the gaps right so this was you know the is null function so now in sql server 2012 this new concat function was introduced now let's see what this concat function does and how it differs from this is null thing okay so i'll do the same thing so what i'll do is i'll copy the query Okay. And to concatenate all these three columns, so what I'll do, I'll use the concat function 
and this concatenate function accepts all these column names as parameters so you can provide as many as column uh, list here so first name comma middle name comma last name right so you can see here you got all these names here right so you don't have you don't have to treat the middle name first name and last name for is null right so concat function takes care of the null value right and it will give you the records by concatenating the values but the problem remains the same you cannot read them right there's no space between them so still here you have to make some adjustments you have to add some white space here right now you can easily read the names right so what you have to do is you have to have you know white space between both the columns then only it will give you a blank space right now let's say you have to add some string with the column name right how you can do that so it's uh, also very simple and, and and the similar thing let's say you want to add some string value like this my name is right like this right so it can you can easily provide a constant value that will be a constant across all these columns and you know the variable values coming from these column list it will easily concat um, with the column so here you are concatenating columns with a string right so my name is and then the full name correct now let's say let's uh, see here go back here now let's say what i can do is let's say if i have to you know concatenate two different type of values let's say i have to concatenate the business entity id and the first name right so first of all i'll show you the traditional approach like this what will happen if i'll do this select top 10 first name plus id is plus the business entity id from person dot person table so you will get an error right so it says that the conversion failed when converting the n care value to data type int right so first column is the var care and our second column is the integer so what it is doing is it is trying to convert this var care to integer and it is failing to convert it because a var care cannot be converted to an integer we should have to do it other way we have to so here we have to convert this integer to a var care right so how we will do that we can use a cast operator cast as where care 10 right from person table now it will work like okay uh, 10 now it will work like a charm right so you can see here right the first name then um, okay let me give a space here right so the first name id is this second name id is this and in then then you know other names id is this right so this is how uh, this works but you know the concat function really takes care of this i'll show you let me copy this right select concat function right first name first name then id is right then the business entity id right this way so if you see here you don't have to you know cast this value right so you don't have to cast this value to where care so concat function automatically casted the value you know to uh, a string and you know added it with the you know this this particular column and this particular a string right not only this right not only integer add other columns too like this is a date column right date time column so you can add a date time column also so first name id is businessman so first name id is this business entity id then um, we can put record added on right then the modified date right so here you can see can id is this right and uh, let me add some space here right so can id is one record added on january this so you can see here without casting anything right it's working very perfectly so this is how you know concat function works and you know it helps a lot
while concatenating columns of you know different different data types and even if the same type is there it uh, it really treats the null value uh, like a charm right so this is it for now please subscribe to the channel by subscribing to the channel you will get to know the latest videos that i put on okay thank you have a nice day